the beginning, a triune God was tripping and flipping and dancing and spilling all over himself. And he said, let there be light. Gift. Darkness. Gift. Earth. Sky. Animals. It was all pure gift. But in all that goodness, there was nothing in the material world that could reciprocate. There was nothing that could respond to God. And then enter a gift better than anything else. Crafted in God's own image with his own breath. Crowned with glory and honor, enter us. And in that same abundance, he blessed us and he said, go explore my world, unwrap the gift of my creation. Bless the world with your own gifts. But then there was that tree. And the funny thing about that tree, it wasn't a gift. And wouldn't you know, we took it anyway. And there was death and confusion, and it's like we forgot what life was all about. Being gift givers. And then taking what God didn't offer, we severed our relationship with him. And all creation suffered. Then there came that day when God gave us another gift. God himself becomes a man. And the gift he offers to the Father is himself. And all of creation is in tow behind him. Once and for all, he restores the way of our purpose. He restores our priesthood. We can once again offer to God our lives, our work, our knowledge, everything. We join our gifts with Christ to offer the world to the Father in love. And for the life of the world. And that is the purpose of our salvation. That's what it's for, for the life of the world.